Hola, welcome back. So the last update was based on Ruxa confessing to Shabazz that she was the one that killed Aisha, his wife. And later, Zara got kidnapped by Sataj. So if you are yet to watch that, I will leave it in the card and I will leave it in the description box below. Check it out and watch it before you watch this one so that you understand the story better. Let's continue. Kabiru knew that if he show up at the kidnapper's hideout with the police, then he would put Zara's life in danger. So he decided to disguise by dressing like an old man and Imran and other officers dressed like wedding witnesses and they goes to the wedding. Kabiru then called the SP that the goon's boss that wanted to get married to Zara is called Sataj. The SP then assured Kabiru to still go there disguised and he would send some police officers to surround the place. And when Kabiru sees that it is right for the police to attack, then Kabiru should give him a signal and the police would attack. Zara told Sataj that she knows that Kabiru will come and save her and Sataj said that if Kabiru comes, then his men would kill him and they have held Zara's father captive as well. Zara was locked up in a room and she was given a wedding dress to wear and also jewelry. Zara tried to escape but she was caught again by the goons and she was forced to dress as the bride. The disguised Kabiru and others got there as priests to join the couple and Kabiru saw Zara dressed in a wedding attire and he thought in his mind that Zara should look at him because he is Kabir. Zara was looking at Kabiru but she didn't still recognize him because of the way he was dressed. Sataj told the priest who was Imran, sorry it was not Kabir, it was Imran, to begin with the wedding ritual for him and Zara and he warned everyone that if anyone tried to stop this wedding, then he would shoot the bride. Hearing this, Kabir was shocked and he decided to be very careful not to put Zara's life in danger. Kabir was able to make Zara know that he is the priest and he silently told Zara to cooperate with everything he's doing and Zara knows at the priest. A goon brought Kazi to the wedding venue at gunpoint and Sataj told Kazi that he brought him here so that he can witness him and her daughter's marriage and Sataj told his goons that if the wedding did not happen in 10 minutes or they suspect anything fishy, then they should kill the bride. Kabiru said that he wants to use the washroom and Imran who was also in disguise also followed him saying that he wanted to clean himself before the wedding begins. Kabiru and Imran made a plan together in the washroom to get Zara married to Kabiru instead of Sataj and they came out to perform the wedding ritual. Sataj saw the nika papers and he said that Imran should be reading what is written inside to him because he doesn't understand Hodu language in which the nika was written. Imran said that what was written in the nika is that Sataj is getting married to Zara, but that was a lie. What was written in the nika was that Kabiru is getting married to Zara, but because Sataj doesn't understand the language, he bluntly agreed that the nika favored him. The priest said that he can't find the ink to stamp the nika and complete the ritual. Sataj went inside to get the ink and Kabiru and others beat Sataj and rendered him unconscious. Kabiru removed Sihera, that is a groom veil, that is the veil that India, in every Indian movie they always use it. That is when instead of Prithvi to get married to Prita, Karan will be getting married to Prita instead. And instead of Karan to get married to Mahira, Prita will be getting married to Karan instead. So that veil that they used to use is what they called Sihera. So Kabiru removed the veil that Sataj was wearing and he put it on and come out as the groom after Sataj has already been unconscious in the room. Kabiru slightly revealed his face for Zara to know that he's now the groom because Sataj grooms were still around thinking that Sataj was the groom in front of them. Kabiru signaled to the SP for the police to attack the venue and Kabiru and Zara finally completed the wedding rituals and they became husband and wife. Kabiru revealed his face to everyone and Kazi was very happy that it was Kabiru that got married to Zara instead of Sataj. Sataj regained consciousness and he came out and he was about to shoot Kabiru but the police arrived on time and they arrested Sataj and his guns. Kabiru and Zara told each other congrats and they hugged each other. Kabiru, Zara and Kazi got home and Sama was very happy to hear the good news and she said that her dream has finally come true. Sama told Zara to give Shabazz sweets because she is his daughter-in-law again. 
Shabazz was happy and he smiled and he thought in his mind and asked for forgiveness for every evil that he has done. Ruxa told Zinat that she is happy that Kabiru got married to Zara again because she would use that to torment Zara's life and she asked Zina to come with her to the Siddiqui's house to give Zara the shock of her life. Okay, another thank you to you guys for watching this one till the end. And the next one is a very interesting one. Everybody has been asking, who is the father of Rooksack's unborn baby? So that is what we will look at in the next update. And guess what? It is already up on the channel. All you have to do is click the card or click the description box below and check for the link and watch it. Check it now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in that next update. Bye.